Hello, welcome to your student. In this lecture, we will talk about proposition and types. I excuse if you haven't uh, listened my uh, words earlier. So, welcome again. Uh, in this lecture, we will talk about proposition uh, functions with examples. What in fact a proposition is? Proposition is in fact a word. Is a word or a group of words used before a noun or pronoun or a, a noun phrase to show direction, time, place, or location, or spatial relationship, or to introduce an object. Spatial relationship is relating to or occupying space. See the examples below. Uh, to refer to a spatial relationship, use the prepositions above, across, against, ahead, along, among, around, behind, below, beneath, beside, be between, front, in front of, beside, near, of, out of, through, toward, under, and within. Okay, the post office is across the street from the grocery store. Uh, we will stop at uh, many attractions along the way. The kids are hiding behind the tree. His shirt is off. Walk toward the garage and then turn left. Okay, please a uh, check mark within the box. Okay, these were a few examples. Total propositions. Uh, there are 150 prepositions in English. There are more uh, important. These are important words we use in individual propositions than individual words. There are prepositions of to and in are among the most frequent words in English. Below is a list of commonly used uh, one word prepositions. Many of these word prepositions have more than one meaning. All these are explained in detail with examples in the following slides. Okay. Prepositions of time we have on it is used with the days of the week like mon on Monday on Tuesday in is used with we between month seasons time of the day Year or after a certain period of time Okay, we have some example like in a girls like in winter. Okay at is for use for a duration uh, during the day for example for for Night for weekend for a certain period of time for example at night at the weekend or at 10 o'clock and a half past nine o'clock Okay, since from a certain po uh, point of time, past in love, for example, since 1980, for uh, over a certain period of time, for example, you can say for two years or for three years, ago is used for a certain time in past, for example, two years ago or three years ago. Okay, prepositions of time we have, prepositions of time we have before, to, past, till, to, until, and till or until, we have again, when, by, okay. Uh, usage earlier than a certain certain time we use before for telling a time for telling the time we use to and uh, we use uh, pass for the telling a time for example at 10 to 6 or you say half past 6 10 minutes to 6 or half past 6 marking the beginning beginning and end of a period time we use uh, till or from okay in order to talk about the duration in a sense of how long something is going to last, we use a word till or until. By in a sense of uh, at least latest up to a certain point, I, I will get, be back by six o'clock. By ten o'clock, I had had read five pages. Okay. Uh, then we have prepositions of place in at and on. I mean these can be used differently again. Um, uh, let me tell you the basic difference between the uh, in at uh, and uh, own as well and similarly over as well and above as well we use above when something is uh, you know when something isn't moving we use over when something is moving when something is moving and we use on with the surface of something okay in is uh, used between in is used to talk about you know uh, a room building street town country or book paper car taxi picture and so on Whereas uh, at is used, uh, you know, we have uh, example, as for example, in the kitchen, in the word, in the book. Okay, meaning next to by an object used for table, for example, at the door, at the station, at the table, at the concert, at the party, and so on. Okay, on is attached and it is used for something when it touches uh, a surface of something. The picture is on the wall, London lies on the th themes and the on the table, okay, or on the left, that's uh, and so on, okay. Prepositions of place we have uh, by, next to, beside, under, below, over, above, and across. And similarly, 
uh, these are used these uh, each of uh, it, it has you know different uses for example you know over is used covered by something else meaning over than uh, okay more than uh, getting to the other side it should be mobile for example higher than something else but not okay prepositions of place and directions through to into to words on to from we have you know different usage of each and similarly we have different examples of each okay uh, other important propositions we have from of by on in of out of by at about and these can be used differently okay for example now we have practice exercise uh, the picture is dash the bowl the book is dash uh, the mug and pen okay the lamp is dash the table the, there is a bed on dash uh, on my room okay i get dash early in the morning a good judge never jumps dash the conclusion okay these are a few examples or activity for you so that you can just practice it okay that's all uh, for today if you have any questions so you can just ask me thank you so very much thank you